So, Glenn Beck's network, The Blaze, is currently doing massive layoffs of their employees. Now, why is this? Because, to make it short, The Blaze is melting down. <laughs> the Blaze will not be here for much longer. By 2019, I guarantee you they'll either be bankrupt or they'll be, like, a side thing on some other news program. Maybe Glenn could get in with Breitbart or something. Now, let's review the long chain of events that really led to the Blaze's destruction. Because at first, Blaze was only going to be funded by subscriptions. Glenn was going to have people who subscribed to their network, and that was going to how he was going to pay for all of it. There wasn't going to be any advertisement or anything like that. That lasted about a year. Then Glenn tried to get advertisers, and it was from people who didn't pay much because there were things like, you know, gold coins and bunkers for the apocalypse because Glenn Beck is similar to Alex Jones in that he's extremely well-known for his paranoia. You know, he thought Obama was a Maoist and a communist, and he was going to put us all into FEMA camps and things like that. Now, those people didn't pay very well, so what happened was Glenn Beck then had to go to right-wing think tanks and get money from them. And, of course, they were funding his show for a while. And then came Tommy Lawrence, who really kept the Blaze afloat for a while. Like, Tommy was the only reason Blaze was successful. Like, if you mentioned Blaze, people thought of Tommy more than Glenn. So then Tommy was fired, and that was the single worst move the Blaze ever made. That is what guaranteed the death of the Blaze. And I don't know, I don't remember if I said it at the time, but I definitely was to some extent thinking it. Yeah, after that, the Blaze is done for. They're done for. <laughs> you get rid of Tommy Lawrence, you're just done for. So, ever since then, The Blaze has basically been on the verge of economic collapse, and the layoffs are really the last way The Blaze can sort of sustain itself for a little while, and it's not going to last for very long. Because Glenn Beck was popular for a while when he was on, I think, CNN, then he was on Fox News for a few years, and then he tried Blaze, and that was just a failure. No one watches it. There are college radio stations that are outbeating The Blaze. These people couldn't make it in the free market, and they were basically just right-wing welfare queens. They were taking money from right-wing think tanks. That's how they got stuff. And from people who make gold coins and things like that. But, oh, God. Basically, the blaze is done for, is my point. And that's it. I'm Ephraim, and good night.